a standout athlete of Marysville High School, not Marysville Pilchuck, it didn't exist. Marysville High School, Larry Christensen once threw back-to-back no-hitters and was known for his long home runs. The day after graduating from high school, he was selected third overall by the Philadelphia Phillies in the June free agent draft. He made his major league debut for the Phillies on April 13, 1973, with a complete game victory over the New York Mets. At 19, he was the youngest player in the majors. Larry helped the Phillies to three straight NL East Division titles from 1976 to 1978, along with no names like Steve Carlton, Ray Wazinski, Mike Schmidt, and Tuck McGraw. He has a ring from the 1980 World Series. Larry played his entire career with the Phils. Christensen resides in the Philadelphia area where he's president of an investment company and active in numerous charity organizations. A member of the inaugural class of the Snohomish County Sports Hall of Fame, Larry Christensen. Let me begin by saying uh, thank you all for coming, because without all of you, this wouldn't be possible. And I want to thank the committee for uh, not only inviting me, but also the induction. And I'm proud to be here. I got up very early this morning from Philadelphia, about 4 o'clock this morning, and flew in, <clears throat> and looking at this beautiful new building. By the way, the tallest building in Philadelphia is the Comcast Center. And Ralph and Brian Roberts, who are Comcast, are actually friends of mine, so um, uh, pleasure to bring their, bring their wishes. But I, I guess, you know, this is, this is where it all started. And so um, I, I have a couple of, of fond memories I'll get to about some of the inductees, but <coughs> excuse me, I'd like to um, introduce a couple of family members and also um, uh, and friends that I have in the audience. A lot of people have come up from talking about when coaches against my teams in elementary school, junior high, high school, but it all started here. I was born in Everett. And I have to say that uh, my mother, Mary Kinder, was, is my mother. I love her very much. My mother, Mary, uh, retired from the Everett Herald and worked many years and also worked with Rich Meyer. And Rich, thank you for your introduction and welcoming me back home. Uh, uh, I also have to introduce my brother, Gary. Gary was the one that kind of was my teammate, brother, and also um, drug me down to the tennis courts, drug me to the fields, and took me to the, to the uh, basketball courts and where we competed and played and had a lot of other people out here who were teammates, friends, and also some coaches like Mike Rorick and Tom Bain, and uh, who coached my brother and I. And also in my first major league game, both Mike and Gary were there to attend when I was 19 years old and beat the Mets. I lost my shot on the bottom of the ninth with Cleon Jones scoring on a wild pitch from second base. So anyway, but I also, I thought I was going to be here for basketball because Marv Harshman was trying to recruit me to play at the UW. Basketball was my favorite sport. But I was drafted by the Phillies. My brother woke me up after my graduation party at high school and said, the Phillies are on the phone. The Phillies drafted me. And I said, Phillies? Horses? Never heard of horses. I really did not follow baseball. But I, 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 I'm really proud to, to take this moment to think back of when I was a young guy playing in sports and at nine years old and 10, 11, 12 in, in, in uh, Little League Baseball and, and then through, uh, I loved high school sports and basketball and baseball and was surprised that I was drafted and I was a number one draft choice and I signed with the Phillies and Steve Carlton and won 27 games. I ended up being his teammate the next year. I've done some incredible things. I have, uh, I have to mention that uh, Chris Chandler, Greg, uh, the sisters, Greg Chandler was my catcher, and Chris Chandler was my bat boy, my brother Gary, my bat boy. I stood down on his chair, and he sat down in his chair and got up and got down on his chair. So that's Chris Chandler. As far as, as Earl Averill and brothers, I uh, was 19 years old sitting in, in Shea Stadium in the dugout on Old Timers Day, and there was Earl Averill comes scoots up next to me and sits down, I'm 19 years old, I've not thrown a pitch in the major leagues yet, and Earl says, young man, I'm, I'm Earl Avery, I'm from Snohomish. I said, I know who you are. I don't know who Joe DiMaggio and Mickey Mantle and Stan Hughes and all these people are, 
But I ended up um, sitting there next to Earl Averill, and it was a moment that I'll never forget because he said, don't you wish we were up on a lake fishing somewhere in some homes? <laughs> And then up in a chariot comes this guy with a white robe on, waving a wand, and I'm going, who's that? And Earl Abrams said, that's Casey Stengel. <laughs> so, anyway, so that's kind of how my career started. I was very fortunate to play my whole career in Philadelphia. I, I, I did retire at an early age of 29, my 11 years with the Phillies, uh, first, first World Series championship in the history of the Phillies, I'm proud of in 1980. Also, you forgot Pete Rose. Um, but great teammates, great experience. I came back here after my career. Kind of wasn't the same. I really grew up in Philadelphia. I went back. I do call this my home. I'm a property here. I have a lot of friends here. and uh, But I do live right outside of Philadelphia. I had a nice career with the Phillies. I'm a season ticket holder. I'm a client of the Phillies. I also now have a business, and um, I'm very proud of 25 years in the investment business and growing a company, so in a way, two careers. So uh, proud to be here, proud to accept this award, and uh, I'm going to look forward to spending the weekend with my family and some friends, and then head back to Philadelphia. But thank you very much. I'm proud to be here. And, uh, One more time, Larry Christensen.